Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Soccer Lab Coffee Time Show. Once again, we are here with Franz Nell. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Miles. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's such a great uh, privilege to be, to be back on the show. Yeah, I mean, we had so much to speak about mm. last time you were here with oh, the yeah. launch, launch of the Kicker 5 that uh, we actually had to get you back, yeah. back on the show because it's just too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, well, who does an amazing job in expanding the products and uh, being a, a brand that kind of there's so much to talk about, it's, it's good to kind of devolve into or go into each product and to show you guys uh, mm -hmm. what it entails and what it uh, is all about. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, we've seen seen you before, eh? so welcome yeah. back. Um, in terms of the train, I mean, we went through the brand new Kicker 5 that was launched with the kind of um, movement in the feet, and it's quite a revolution in terms of mm. being able to plug an internet cable in there. So, I mean, in terms of that, it's a, I mean, it's an amazing trainer. Um, how's the sales going there? Have you guys been, been quite Look, popular? It's It's been fantastic, to be honest. Uh, I think the, the biggest constraint at the moment would be stock availability. Uh, which we'll see worldwide. So, you know, the demand is just so, so uh, great at the moment that, um, you know, the demand keeps uh, keeps increasing, which is great for the brand. Uh, but luckily, we, we got some some uh, stock in on not just the kickers, we, which we are sold out at the moment. Um, on our side, I know Cyclab does, still has, but a few of the under trainers we, we got in and uh, have stock available on that as well. Brilliant. So we've got our coffee. I hope you've got your coffees. Hope you got your coffee as well. Um, it is a live show, guys. So um, if you do have any questions, please uh, feel free to to um, comment on the video below and we can try and answer your questions. Mm, um, awesome. The focus for today. So um, we've spoken about the trainer, um, as I mentioned, but we want to go into the Wahoo ecosystem. I mean, you guys have a whole range of products that you want to try and get that realistic feel mm. being indoors. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys call it the Wahoo ecosystem. That's correct, um, yes. And uh, if someone wants to build their pain cave, what else, in addition to their indoor cycling trainer, can they purchase to yeah. to get that kind of real feel of being out on the road? So, it's it's a good question about the that this is the thing with Wahoo. They they kind of looked at the trainer to to make it at its best. Where you look at the kicker five, you look at the core, the snap. Um, you know, the trainer gives you that realistic feeling of of riding on a on a on a TV. Um, but they kind of stepped back and said, how can we make that experience so much more realistic? Um, and that's where they've created the climb and the headwind because these two things are the things that, that you actually experience when you're outdoors. Um, you have a climb simulator uh, where you, you kind of fire up different muscle groups and um, the headwind that simulates headwind for you when you're out there. Uh, and, and that's what makes it so unique, uh, the, the ecosystem part where the trainer, the climb and the headwind talks seamlessly with one another and it creates this ecosystem where it just makes it more realistic and more convenient to train indoors. Brilliant, so let's focus on that kicker climb. So I mean if I look here, I mean this thing can turn from left to right. It's 100% um, yeah. My first view of it, if I had to look at it um, and kind of play around, it, it seems a little bit unstable. Um, mm. But I mean you've obviously thought about that. So, yeah, 100%. Um, so, so again the idea is to make it realistic to what you experience outdoors. Okay. So you don't want something too static uh, in, in your living room because that's not yeah. what you're going to experience outdoors. It's the same thing with the kicker five, the, uh, the rocking of, of the trainer. It's very similar. You want to move away of that static movement. So the, the climb literally focuses on your front wheel. It simulates your front wheel. And, yeah. and that's why it's a lot of, there's a little bit of movement. So when you stand up and pedal, uh, you have that little bit of movement as you would with, with your front wheel. Brilliant. So it, it does connect to the trainer itself. So everything communicates as one. So for yeah. example, if you're riding on Zwift like we have on the screen here, yeah. um, if you would start going up up a climb, the, the actual climb will also start to, to yes. raise yourself. So yeah. that, that very, very realistic feel. Exactly. Uh, as you said there, it's uh, so you, there's two modes basically. You can put it on, on auto or, or manual where the auto uh, is basically you, you literally as you ride on Zwift or eat, well, it, it differs on, on the app you're using. But uh, it goes up and down according to the route that you're riding. Uh, yeah. Let's see if it's going to work. Ah, it does. So there's this. So little, that's the that's remote. the manual. That's the second one where you literally uh, press up and down, and uh, it'll go according to. So to note this is something that it talks to the trainer, uh, well to the Wahoo trainer specifically. Uh, if you want to use it with. Well, hopefully not, but if you want to use it with another trainer, you'll only be able to use it with uh, okay. um, on manual mode. Okay, so you need the trainer you need, yeah. as, as kind of the base to be able 
to have everything yeah. communicate as one. I use yeah. the example last time as with with Apple, and it's the same thing. You know, yeah. they they talk talk together. They just work with one another. Where if you if you put Android and Apple together, it just doesn't talk together or to one another. And uh, it's the same thing with uh, with the climb and the headwind as well. Brilliant. Um, in terms of the steerer mode, if you turn side to side, I know there's been a few um, other brands out there who have started steering on Zwift. Yeah. Um, is it something yeah. that 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 Wahoo are looking into? So at the moment, on the climb specifically, not. Uh, but if you think about where the kicker comes from and the kicker kicker 2014 or kicker one. Uh, that we used to talk about a few years ago. Um, they've kind of made it a lot better product where we look at the Kicker 5 now, but there's so many features involved with the trainer. And it's the same thing with the Climb. This is the first of its kind. First generation. There, exactly. Yeah. There's nothing out there at the moment similar yeah. to this, same as with the headwind. Um, so it's kind of like what, what Wahoo does different. Um, and uh, this is something definitely that they've that they've. Uh, uh, made better and kind of got to a point where it's the only one in the market and the only ones who do, who do it. Brilliant. So, enough of the kicker climb. Let's move on to the kicker headwind. Now, yeah. this is quite an interesting product so as well because, if, I if, mean, when we're out on the road, yeah. uh, we dread side winds uh, and mm. we want um, tail winds as much as possible. But 100%. we've got the, the headwind that kind of has two purposes, obviously, mm. to keep you cool while you're busy cycling. Yeah. But also, it, it integrates to being Kind of the faster you go the the harder the fan blows 100 yeah. percent. so look it's it's uh if you look at the fan as as a normal fan as you look at the price tag and you're like what uh it's, it's quite <laughs> an expensive fan yeah. so if if you look if you go into more depth on what it does then you start really realizing why we call it a smart fan and how it integrates with the whole system so there's two modes with the headwind as well either well technically three so either manual which is one uh, where you can literally, uh, by on your own, just increase the headwind, or you can go via speed. So the faster you go, the more headwind, and the slower you go, uh, the less headwind. Yeah. The other, the other cool part of it is heart rate. So you can okay. connect your heart rate monitor with the headwind. Oh wow! So I don't know that. The higher your heart rate, the more headwind you experience. So at the at the end of the day, you actually. You know, it's it's kind of like a motivator. So uh, as as you put in the effort and your heart rate goes higher, uh, you want to chase for that uh, for that air cooling effect because otherwise uh, it gets quite hot when you're on the on the trainer. So it it serves as a motivator. And another thing, on top of of heart rate, is you can set it according to where kind of where it starts, which heart rate zone it starts off. So okay, if you don't want it to start at 120 beats per minute, for example, uh, you can have it start at 150, 160. That's awesome. Uh, so that's it's a very customizable thing um, on the on the headwind itself. So that's a very very cool feature. Brilliant. Also, um, you guys also make heart rate belts. So um, I mean, you spoke about it when you uh, uh, two weeks ago. That yeah. um, a normal ANT plus heart rate belt doesn't normally connect to um, computers. So mm. um, sometimes guys or cyclists can't have their heart rate displayed. So you need a Bluetooth heart rate monitor to yeah. be able to connect to the computers, which then yeah, communicates yeah. to the apps. Yeah. Um, so that's also quite important when it comes mm. to wanting to get the most most kind of information like you want to connect your heart rate valve to the headwind yeah. so um, it's, it's all part of that kind of ecosystem that we're mm. speaking about yeah um, so this is all focused on kind of indoor training and being indoors mm. uh, it has been quite warm this week so I know like yeah. a lot of people are wanting to where it's been amazing again. yeah 100%. so how can we take this um, or, or go from riding out on the road to bring it indoors is there a, like a um, your your kind of head units do they integrate with 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 the whole indoor cycling? Yeah, so um, that's uh, I have my element roam uh, here. So you brought one. <laughs> yeah, 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 I have to to show it off a little bit. So the element roam is, is just one of the elements that uh, that they have on uh, well on offer, and the other one is called the the element bolt. So. so the so the word element means it's the head unit that you guys it's make, right? 100%. Okay. It's 100%. It's it's okay. a main computer that you use uh, okay. for tracking your your riding data, and uh, so it's kind of like um, you put all the effort in. And uh, there's a saying where if it's not on Strava, it doesn't count. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> if uh, if if that is the case, this unit is definitely the one that you need to kind of uh, um, uh, make sure that you get all the data on there. So it syncs seamlessly with. Your third-party apps okay. and, and all that, but as you mentioned, with you know indoors and going outdoors, you know South Africa has amazing weather, so you don't always want to spend time indoors. Yeah, Sometimes you want to go outdoors, 
and uh, that's where the roam comes in quite handy because it's uh, it has mapping features that allows you to literally pinpoint a direction or pinpoint a uh, place or where you want to go and it takes you on the quickest route to that uh, wow. destination okay. and uh, so you have all these gps features i think the only thing it won't do is uh, make you coffee in the morning but <laughs> other than that it's it's fairly uh, there's there's a, a few or kind of a lot of features that you can look at but the cool thing is with the element app you can literally choose what you want to see and customize every little detail wow. like uh, you can zoom in and zoom out according to what you want to see so if, if you can put there uh, if you can see there uh, you can literally just have one this one on display there or you can have multiple and you can also uh, just go through the pages as you wish so you can customize every little every detail on this device which is uh, such a you know personal preference thing comes in handy I like to see uh, speed and my whites yeah. other, other guys like to see maybe heart just heart rate and time it really depends on on what you want to do but the roam is specifically focused on the mapping feature so if you want to go and get lost go and get <laughs> lost and uh, yeah. it'll take you home uh, with with no problem at all i usually save the the coffee shops so uh, that helps a lot to, <laughs> so to you know see. where the nearest coffee shop 100 yeah, percent. Yeah. so I, when i do a ride and i want to go and drink coffee i look at where the closest coffee shop is <laughs> and it takes you there 100 percent. and the the cool thing is if let's say you do a ride and uh, tomorrow you want to do the same thing with your friends for instance or but it rains suddenly it rains or it's it's bad weather uh, whatever the case may be you can take the unit indoors and it connects to the trainer and it actually simulates your ride so the specific route that you rode um, it will simulate for you so, so so if I go for example ride the cradle loop um, and it's raining on a particular day and I just go to that file and I jump on my indoor trainer it will simulate that exactly yeah, exactly really and wow that is exactly That's that so amazing. it's like the the pros usually use it for for training uh we have jan fredino which is an iron man champ he uh he actually trains on the trainer like 24 7 and he trains on the on the iron man route or the races where all the races comes or uh, is hosted at uh, he, he trains on that route specifically uh, every day so that's kind of like the best simulation that you can get training on the route that you'll be racing at wow. so it's not just about training indoors it's about taking your outdoor experience and bringing them exactly. indoors and making exactly. them integrate and, yeah and so on I would say you know I think the big question would be what makes it different to any other brand out there um, there's a because there's a few different brands which are great I think it's again what who does differently to, to other devices and um, there's I would I would kind of categorize it in three different uh, uh, segments or three different uh, points the one would be aerodynamics that I mentioned the other day as well yes. uh, which kind of it really helps in those, that those marginal, marginal gains. gains if you're a pro I exactly mean, you're exactly riding around the cradle well, you if it, even, if it, <laughs> even if you want to beat the friend or yeah. beat that, that Strava PB that's it's it, it will help uh, but that's one of the features that that makes it unique um, is its aerodynamics um, the other thing would be it is not touchscreen it uses tactile buttons so if you look at the tactile buttons uh, it, it actually it just kind of um, um, it uh, reacts a lot quicker it response time is a lot better and uh, when it rains or when you your, your fingers are getting wet it's, it's sometimes so difficult to work on touchscreen devices. So they said how to make that safer for you to ride outdoors. You don't want to mess around when you're on the bike and you know figure out how to touch and get through the pages. So they made these tactile buttons to make it easier to go through the pages and to scroll through everything and, and see what you want to see. Thirdly would be the LED lights that you have on top and on the side. That's, so this, that's quite cool. I, I, I saw someone actually had one the other day. And if you're chasing a Strava segment, oh yeah, yeah, that actually tells you, um, like, if you're too far behind or if you're too yeah, far yeah, it can pace you. It, it can literally pace you. So you upload it on this uh, device, or you kind of sync Strava to to the okay. device, and uh, it it pace you according to okay. even your personal best or your pre previous personal best or the comp if you want to go for the comp. So it, it it really offers a lot of features for the guys that want to go fast or the guys that just want to have fun on the bike. Um, and just want to enjoy the ride. Um, turn by turn navigation is a big deal with us. Where you know, like I said, going to that coffee sh the coffee stop, it's uh, you don't always know where to go, and you don't always don't always want to look 
at the map itself because uh, it, it becomes quite dangerous because yeah. you have to look out for cars or other riders or other uh, other people on the road and uh, you can literally just glance down and it'll, it'll flicker, to the, flicker to the left or to the right oh, wow, that's um, according to yeah where per- you need to go perfect exactly that's amazing we exactly. are the, the Twitter cycle lab has has begun on Wednesday so we are running some some promos let's yeah. just bring that up um, before we get carried away so there's the ticker heart rate belts, there's the headwind and the kicker climb. You can buy them individually, but there's also a package going at the moment. Um, so there's also the kicker corn. Quick question. We know the kicker five has just come out. Is there any changes to the kicker corn, kicker snap? Yeah, good question. So there's a, there's quite a, previously with the kicker four, there was small changes with the core and the kick of, uh, kick of four, but with the kick of five, it puts it in a different category at all. So you have your kind of a good, better, but, uh, best situation where you have your snap, which is your entry level, you know, start off trainer two to three times a week training. Okay. The snap would be ideal. Um, the, the affordability on the snap is, is a lot better. So it's it comes at a better price tag, but long term, it might be a little bit more wear and tear on your bike. So for instance, your tire, your bearings, all of that that you have on the bike um, long term. If you train too much or, or quite a lot on the on the trainer, uh, you might find that long term it might be a little bit more expensive than investing a little bit more into a core, for instance, if you train three more times a week. Because uh, then you take, a, as you see on the on the Kicker 5, um, you take your wheel off and the, basically only wear and tear you have is, is on the chain. Mm. and. Um, so on the core specifically, you have uh, just convenience and uh, kind of the, the cassette that reduces the price tag. Uh, Software-wise, is pretty much the same on all the devices. So you can connect to Zwift, you can connect to multiple devices. Um, it's, it's mostly based on accuracy. That, okay. that inertia f- effect that you have, uh, the realisticness that you want to experience indoors. And uh, if for those guys who train quite a lot indoors, you can you can kind of you you know what your watts are, you know you know what it should feel like. Um, for those who just want to do it for fitness side, the snap would be a, the best option because okay. um, you won't feel the difference. Good at value all. for money. Hundred percent. So you can buy these products individually, but uh, the Twitter Cycle Lab deal, you can buy them as a package. So you get the Kicker Five, you get the Climb. And you get the headwind for thirty-seven thousand nine hundred ninety-nine rand. So yeah. I mean, if you take those those products and you try and buy them individually, it would yeah. work out to be a lot more expensive. So that's yeah. that's a very good promotion that's going at the moment. One more thing I just want to touch on: the kicker bike. So what oh, they yeah. did was they took all these components and yeah. the bicycle and they put it into one and they created the kicker bike. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so and if you're kind of adding up the train, kind of the cost of the trainer. The headwind and the climb and the bicycle. Um, I think it's about seventy-five thousand yeah, rand for the it. bike. Yeah, yeah. You have all this built into kind of mm-hmm. one. Um, yeah. So the kicker bike has been a revolution, and I've been on it Look, once or twice. It is such an amazing product. Um, it's it's expensive, but value for money for sure. Um, the reason being is, you know, you mentioned about the bike included, the yeah. climb, the kicker, uh, the smart function of it. But you have things like, you know different gears um, you want to ride on your own bike so why you know buy this thing and it it's acts like a, a, a gym bike um, but it, that's not the case with the kicker bike they've actually changed it so all the gears are virtual oh, so wow. you can literally set up if you want to change it to SRAM, Shimano, Campagnolo depending on what you're using on your own bike your gear ratios your gear ratios that's all through an app all that's through amazing. an app everything through an app so you literally change everything and you don't have a you, you don't need an engineering degree to you don't have to go and uh you know uh, un, uh, unscrew a few things to, to do it everything is software related so it's it makes it so so convenient to do and um i think the other cool thing would be the uh the crank or the yeah you know, the crank length so you can actually adjust that according to what you want to uh, ride with so let's say you ride with the 172 and a half and you want to experiment with the 175. So now you don't have to go and buy one and kind of have an expensive experiment going. You already have this bike. Mm-hmm. So you can literally use uh, the crank lengths and play around with it. Um, other Brands, cool thing, yeah. one more thing, sorry, no. would be, it's, look, the bike is just so, so cool to, to talk about. So many features. Uh, the, the other cool thing with the bike would be 
that you can, uh, I mean, setup is a big, big thing. You just went for an expensive setup and, um, you know, that, that uh, back ache or the, you know, your knees are hurting, that's one of the things that you want to check out. So that's where you do the setup and you literally just apply it onto the bike. You take a photo of the bike and you can apply it automatically on it. So it's just a photo, you take a photo of your bike? You literally will, take a photo. And it, it'll tell you where to kind of set There's, the there's bike. a few ways to do it. If you have the, the correct numbers or, or uh, like details for yeah. your setup, then you can adjust you it can accordingly. Adjust it but if, you, if you're unsure, then you can literally just take a photo of the bike and it'll throw out the numbers for you and you can set it up according to what you want. So if you're an indoor cycling fan, you're riding on Zwift or any kind of uh, program for that matter, I think the kicker bike is, is probably, I mean, it, it sounds expensive, but it's actually probably the most mm. affordable option if you're setting up a pain cave in your home. 100%, um, yeah. Because then also your, your kind of bike that you ride out on the road or you race, you kind of save that bike and mm. you're not kind of um, yeah, exactly. fatiguing it on the trainer. So it's, it's all about, you have two worlds now. So you have a world where you need a, a mobile trainer where you move, you, you go on holiday, you, yeah, yeah. you go to places, you want to take your trainer with. That's where the inner trainers such, such as the, the kicker, the, the core and the snap come in, where with the bike, it's, look, it's it's quite heavy. So yeah. you want to put it in a place yeah. where it stays there. Stay and, and you're not going to move it. Exactly, 100%. Yeah. Brilliant. I, I think we've covered a lot. Eh? Yeah, and look, it's... Uh, um, we're running out of time. They want to open the doors there and uh, <laughs> let people rush in to to come and um, experience the Cycle Lab sales. So thanks again for for coming through. Um, Only a pleasure. It, it, it's such a privilege to talk to you because there's so much technology and you have so much knowledge about the products and, and, and what people want to experience. So yeah. it's, a, it's so nice to be able Thank to you. It, look, tell it's, you. Look, it's an amazing brand, uh, what it offers. I think the, the main or the key focus would be what does it do different? Um, a lot of people would say, you know, what makes it better? Um, and I think well, who takes a different approach to all of their products? Sure. That's what makes it different to any other brand. And, and that's what you buy into. You buy into this Wahoo world where, you know, there's always a new thing coming along. There's Actually, there was one quick question that I had sure. you, which is very good before we um, go off here. If someone wants to start investing in the Wahoo brand, where's the best place to start? Because, I mean, we spoke about all these uh, kind of... Um, components and that yeah. where's the very first step what's the first step someone must take look if uh, if you're on a budget and uh, you want to just start in this fitness journey or fit, uh, this fitness world then I would say the best thing would be the ticker um, so this little device here so this is a, a heart rate monitor and uh, at the end of the day let me just quickly take it out um, at the end of the day you want to see your heart rate to you see what the efforts um, you put in uh, just, you kind of have it on display and you can have this connected to your cell phone so you don't need a computer okay. necessarily oh, wow. to okay. uh, to kind of see what your stats so are. So I can run through the app and you'll have your heart rate display. Okay, so exactly. That, that's a very good start. So this is, I would say, the the basic, basic start. Um, they, from there on, I would say investing in a trainer in the, in the range, okay. looking at the Snap. Uh, the Snap would be the, the most ideal, most affordable trainer to look at. Um, and then, you know, you can always go and buy the climb later on. So there's always upgrades. You don't have to buy everything all together. Sure. Um, you can, could, look, everything, it, it becomes quite expensive uh, yeah. to do it. Yeah. So you want to invest in this, and then you want to go invest in that a year later or yeah. uh, when you have the opportunity to, to do so. Um, it, yeah, so that's, that's basically, you, you can start off with the trainer. The snap would be most ideal, and then you go to the climb and the headwind um, later on. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks again. Awesome. Thanks, a pleasure. thanks for coming through. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, next week, same time, same place. Um, head over to Cycle Lab if you want to experience the Cycle Lab, uh, twi the Twitter Cycle Lab. Um, it's the sale that they're currently running. So head down to nearest Cycle Lab and speak to one of your, well, speak to one of the sales guys if you want to ask questions about the Wahoo ecosystem. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next thanks, week. Thanks, guys. Cheers.